Hey, welcome to Review Studio. In this video, I just wanted to go over the best five desk setups that I've found and come across online that you can use to pull uh, ideas for um, and inspiration from to look to, to make changes to your own desk setup. Um, so I'm going to actually link all of the items that I could find in these desk setups um, in the description below, as well as a link to uh, the article I put together for these desk setups um, with the images and the links included. Um, all of these are also um, sourced from the subreddit Reddit Battle Stations, so definitely give that subreddit a, a look and uh, you'll find some other awesome desk setups over there as well. Um, so this one's uh, my, my top favorite. Um, for a couple of reasons. I just think the desk is beautiful. Um, it was a custom made desk out of a, uh, I believe a 72 by 36 inch um, solid birch butcher block. Um, and then those hairpin legs, uh, the user, the Reddit user that posted this said he just bought those hairpin legs um, online on Amazon and just screwed them into the, the butcher block and then uh, did a couple of coats of stain and uh, epoxy on the, the bir birch bu butcher block. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Um, but yeah, I'm actually um, creating my own desk uh, based off of seeing this picture. It's a very similar setup. Um, it's actually a 74 inch by 25 inch uh, setup or birch butcher block that I'm uh, also going to attach some slightly different legs to. Um, but yeah, some awesome things in this uh, desk setup are definitely the use of greenery. Um, I believe all those plants are fake, but you'd really never know from looking at just the picture. Um, yeah, if you zoom in um, under that desk riser, that does appear to be a revolver and a holster um, to the left of the keyboard there. Um, this user also has two awesome mouses. Um, I believe that uh, one on the mouse pad is a glorious model O, a uh, super lightweight wired gaming mouse. And then the one that's actually on the dock right in front of the mouse pad is a Razer, Razer Viper Ultimate. Um, I don't think he linked to that, but I just know based off of the, the dock that it's on. Um, yeah, love this, love this desk setup. Um, Oh, also those headphones are pretty sweet. Uh, those are um, Sennheiser 599s, I believe. So um, yeah, check out the links in the description below to to all the products in this uh, image. And um, if there's any that you'd want to use for your own desk setup, definitely um, make use of those. On to the next one. This user calls the setup Little Spark. Um, very clean setup you can accomplish something similar or um, just a, a really aesthetically pleasing setup just by following a color scheme with everything that you buy. It does take a lot of pre-planning, um, even just as PC components alone, clearly took a lot of planning. Um, when he built his PC, he was looking for not only high performing components at probably a, a good price too, you wanna consider price when you're building a PC, um, but also components that were fit the black and white color scheme. And that's not actually the easiest thing to do if you're uh, on any type of budget. But um, yeah, anyways, if you're looking to, to make your own desk setup or you're looking for inspiration, um, the main thing to pull from this one is is you can really tie together a desk setup just by following a simple color, sp color scheme. And it doesn't necessarily have to be black and white. Um, a lot of the RGB or the the lighting um, so you'll see the lights above his desktop or the lights in his um, computer case there on on his RAM um, on uh, yeah on his RGB RAM uh, a lot of that lighting can be changed to fit whatever color scheme that you want um, another tip as you noticed in and pretty much you'll notice in all of these desk setups but uh, particularly this one and the last one uh, you're uh, home screen background, your desktop background on your uh, monitor uh, can also be used to kind of set the mood or the color scheme. Um, so definitely don't uh, discount your desktop background. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to link everything in the description below here, um, except for what couldn't be found um, or, you know, the custom stuff like that. The mechanical keyboard is not something you're going to find on Amazon um, that appears to be custom built. Yeah, so also I will mention um, if I couldn't find the exact um, model of whatever I'm looking to on Amazon, I found uh, the closest thing possible. So it's not always exact, but uh, most of the stuff is. On to the next one, number three. Um, yes, this guy made his desk set up in an old uh, restored cotton mill, which is very different. There's a pretty big, uh, I guess, juxtaposition of um really old cotton mill rusty um with the uh, the clean tech look of the desk setup um so yeah a lot of people in the thread the reddit thread were asking about the chair that's an ikea marcus if i'm not mistaken pretty highly reviewed chair but not a cheap desk chair at all um one thing that i'm not crazy about is those roller wheels on the hard floor um feel like there would be a lot of sliding um, but yeah this was a super interesting setup um, definitely a place where you can pull some inspiration from although it's not my favorite overall um, just in terms of um, design and aesthetic um, and not the biggest fan of the white Alex drawers on the desk there but overall really really um, pretty aesthetically pleasing setup and really really unique so I figured I would include this one on to number four. Um, so this guy was, this is another uh, really, really interesting and unique one. This guy um, has a bus, a converted bus, and has his entire um, gaming and work desk set up uh, in, inside the bus. Uh, most of the stuff he said is mounted um, and, and screwed in place, but, uh, the, there was a, a few users that were questioning whether or not all this stuff starts rolling away, particularly the chair, as soon as he starts driving down the road. And he said he uses, uh, some bungee cables and, and, you know, puts some stuff away in drawers when he is driving. Um, but overall super cool setup. There wasn't a ton, uh, the user didn't link to a lot of the stuff in, in this, um, but I'll link to what I could. I think I linked to the, the chair. The chair's not a lazy boy, but it's very, very similar to a, a lazy boy. I think uh, Executive is the name, the, the brand name or the, the model name of the chair. Um, on to the fifth and final one. Um, this is one of the most highly uh, upvoted battle stations on the subreddit battle stations. Um, very clean um a little bit cluttered but very organized and very unique in the sense that you have that slanted wall um that this user clearly did not seem to mind when he was mounting his his art or his top monitor there um, both of those monitors are super pricey i think the bottom one there the ultra wide um, they're both ultra wides, but the ultra ultra wide there in the bottom is probably going to run you a thousand bucks. And then the one on top of that's probably about 600 bucks on Amazon. Um, but overall, a super clean setup. This guy's also using a butcher block, um, which he's using. He's standing on, on, uh, these trestles from Ikea, which is a weird, um, a weird choice considering, um, I think some, some other, uh, table leg options would actually look better and given how expensive the rest of this setup is um, it seems weird to go with the the budget option there but maybe it's just a style thing and he prefers them and thinks they look good um, I think you know a couple different there's there's other leg options table leg options out there that would look better than this that being said uh, there was some concern over this guy's uh, neck for just having to look up at that top monitor. Um, I guess it's something you would probably adjust to over time, um, depending on, you know, what your height is and what your, um, I don't know. You, I, I think you would adjust to it over time, but I don't, I don't know if I'd want to try. Um, this guy linked to just about everything actually. So, um, there's actually not enough room in the one slide here. Um, so, 
it took two slides for him to, to name everything. But um, I'll also link to the, the Reddit post that has a links to or, or uh, has everything named as well as my website article review.studio slash gallery, I believe, um, that has the links to all of these things on Amazon. This guy, um, and as well as a lot of users here, you're going to see a lot of mechanical keyboards in these desk setups. Um, this guy's clearly into mechanical keyboards. He's also into uh, fountain pens. So you can see that setup there on the left of his keyboard and speaker there. Um, there's some fountain pen ink and some fountain pens, uh, as well as a knife there and a, a glass dome. So this guy has some some unique hobbies, but overall his uh, desk setup is super clean, super popular on Reddit battle stations, um, and really looks really nice and definitely use it for inspiration. Um, that wraps up the video. I hope this was helpful in some way. Please do give me feedback in the comments, um, and then please do like, comment, and subscribe um, if you liked the video and want to see another uh, five desk setups. It really, really helps out the, the channel and helps this video get shown by the YouTube algorithm. So uh, thank you. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day or evening.